Hello all, it's Blitz here. Welcome to another episode of Blitz Gaming. This time we're playing American Truck Simulator. So we've got the main screen. Uh, we've got where you got to make new new profile. So we're going to quickly check out the mod manager. See the mods I've got installed, but they're not going to be on when I play the game. So I'm going to make a new profile, and they won't be active. To show you, you can have loads of mods when you want to play the game. So let's make a new character. Put it Blitz. So just like ETS, if you looked at my other video, yeah, literally with the same characters as ETS. And again, we've got female characters. And you pick one, and all the ones that are left over when you hire new drivers, uh, these are ones that come available. And as they bring out expansion packs, they add more. So let's pick a profile. There you do. Standard truck we like. So we've got Kenworth, P built, Bobo, another P built, and another Kenworth. Be nice if they put Mac trucks in, but um or freight liners, but we just got hope. There is mod versions available. But as with all mods, when the game gets updated, you find the mods don't work. So hopefully the, the mod maker updates his mod. If you don't, then you're out of luck. We're going to play this with keyboard. But you've got obviously the options there. Steering wheel, keyboard, or mouse. And we're going to play automatic. Because uh, my okay. cake, one we're using keyboard. And I've, there's plenty of trucks out there now that got automatic gear sticks. So it's not that I'm cheating, it's just that I'm not sure what I'm going to use because we don't have a gear shifter, pedals or steering wheel. And you've got to start where you want to, you want to make your base. I'll start where the game first came out. So if you do buy the game, you might see that expansion packs. So we just start in California. And we go down to LA. I won't do the tutorial, I'll just tell you how it works as I'm going along. Let's wait. So this is our starting location, Los Angeles. Nice and colourful, nice and sunny. It's not always like that, and it does rain. The game is 120 scale, so obviously a lot of things have been missed out. And here's our new truck, Peter Bilts. Quick look around, it's nicely done. You get some with nice sleepers. It's a nice old truck. Take a look at the outside view. Then we have a quick look at um, ETS. Just for a comparison shot. So we've got ETS, again it's the same game manufacturer, 
So everything's literally identical, except the trucks are different. In this case, a lot of Scania. And obviously, one's in Europe, one's in the United States. So back to um, ATS, or American Truck Simulator. So we've got the, just turned off the extra mirrors. Um, it's good if you got, you're new to playing Truck Simulator. They come in handy because you get a bigger view. Um, we've got the lights switched there. As you get lot more money, you can add lights to the uh, your truck and you can set them up if you're on full beam, dip, it's all, sh all show up um, as you're driving. We've got the sat nav, just going through the modes, like what, full out zoom, zoom, zoom. And then we've got where destination is, we've got to take it to, how much it costs. And on top there, I've got, also got the damage, if you get any damage, to the trailer. And you don't want to get no damage to the goods, because you lose XP and you lose money. So you've got to remember that. And on top there, you got um, a little icon here for damage to the truck. When you've got to sleep, what the time is. Uh, petrol, and uh, what gear you're in. Uh, and the time. So you need to keep an eye on the time because obviously when you've got delivery to do there's um, a certain time you've got to get A to B so don't forget. So let's get rolling. A quick look at the external view. Just make sure we know where we're going. Sometimes I can't work out what way's in and out. They vary from place to place. Sometimes you can go around them all, and sometimes there's only one way in and one way out. So before we get going, what I'll show you, we've got um, all the different trucks. Yeah, so this comes handy if you want to buy a truck in the future. Depends what version you want and where you want to spend the money. Because they can, but after you get uh, 250,000 for the total range stuff, with all your bits and bobs added to it, if you want to do any paint jobs. So you can see there's loads of loads of um, changes to the chassis. Um, you've got mid lift, for the tighter turning, heavier loads. More powerful engine. Obviously, uh, transmissions. When you actually go to the truck garage to buy one, um, when you look at the transmissions and engines, you get this graph come up. It tells you what's good for heavy stuff, turning, and economy. So you can set your track up the way you want it to be. So they've got loads and loads of colours. And you can make your own colour. Yeah, there's literally dozens and dozens of add-ons um, you can do for the colouring. You've got an old metallic. So you can look at it three different ways, get three different colours. I'm just trying to match them up the, more or less the same, um, but you can get the glint, so I have slightly different colours going through them. So then obviously you've got um, some of these details. Some of these what you won't get because these are done with the event, which I've done over the last several years. I'll just turn them off so you can't see them. And these also vary from what truck you have. Some are available in all trucks, some of them are not. And these only come up um, as you level, the more items you can change to your truck. You can't do this from the start, so if you think about going to the bank, get a loan, thought, well, I'm gonna go out and buy a 250,000 man truck. You can't do that, it won't let you. 
Uh, you've got to progress um, in the level system to get bigger and bigger items to update your truck. There's some paint jobs available as well on as many DRCs, I think about £2.50 or something like that. And if you buy them on a the sale, you get for about, I don't know, $1 or a pound. So you, you go on and on. There's plenty, plenty of colour schemes you can go through. And obviously it varies from truck to truck. Something, some trucks have got loads of things to change. Some trucks haven't got as many as another. But you can do, do with all the wheels, I think. Uh, they can all be changed. So it just goes on and on. And on, on, on top of that, they got loads of mods on Steam and on the internet you can download. That game, being a mod, the mod's not kept up to date, it won't work with the game because the game company they update ATS, ETS usually every two, three months. Which is good because we all like patches, we all like the game to be up to date and running. But unfortunately, if you've got loads and loads of mods, you might suddenly find they don't work. Now, they also got trailers, you can buy trailers now, NETS and ATS. Um, on this particular screen, it doesn't show you where you can paint them, but you can actually uh, paint your trailers as well. These just going through skins, what are all available in the game. You get a double. Now that double's come up. I'm pretty sure you don't get the double in the standard game. Uh, I've got two expansion packs on. Uh, so try and ignore the double if it's come up. But otherwise you should get everything else. There's a the old car carrier. Yeah, these are all the sort of things you can buy um, as you progress, and they should be in your car lot. Well, if you've got a big enough garage, that is. And you can sign them to uh, to your workforce to use. Or you can use them yourself anytime you wish. You could also buy a fleet truck, so when you've decided you want to dish a certain truck design and colour scheme, um, it automatically saves, and if you want one again, over and over and over again for your your workers, you can just buy the fleet truck over and over again. Save you trying to keep making the same setup every time, which is great. And then you, as you're driving around, you see your trucks driving around. Maybe you forgot to buy an ETS earlier, and you drive on the right hand side, not the left hand side. Now you can actually go through, I'm not quite sure uh, exactly how it works. If you're, going, if you're going right, you can actually go right on a red light in America. But I think it's only if it's got a stop sign, I can't remember now. So basically you need to stop, look and go. Something like that anyway. So I'll just show you the graphic setup and I will show on the screen in a second my setup as so you know you can pair. So I've got everything turned on maximum. It plays quite well on my, my machine. I mean my computer is quite old. It's not prehistoric but it certainly ain't up to date. I mean my CPU is uh, Haswell so I think it's Four generations old now, four years out of date. And I'm running DDR3. Uh, 
Um, you're going to support Starks 9 as well as Starks 11. But um, if I remember rightly, Steam did post somewhere along the line to the game manufacturers and obviously the users. Um, if the games don't support Dyrex 11, because they're going to be stop supporting, Steam will not support Dyrex 9 in the very near future. So you might find some games that work. So hopefully all the games we got was Dyrex 9, a bit like we switched over to Dyrex 11. Um, otherwise they won't, we'll be out of pocket. Well, luckily for me, all my games are Dyrex, uh, Dyrex 10 minimum. So you just want to change the uh, indicators. Not that they're any good in this game because the AI in ETS and ATS is terrible. I don't care if you're indicating to come over to the left or right lane. As far as they're concerned, they're going to run you over, run you up into you if you get in the way. But I just do it because obviously I drive for a living and indicating is quite normal for me. So you can see the settings where you got um, retarder and, and the other braking system as well as your normal braking system and joke brake. Um, you got air control as well. We've turned on. Well, I think I've turned on. Uh, if you don't know what the air does, it's like every time you brake, uh, your system loses air. And when you drive, it pumps it back up. But when you come to reverse, uh, you find out you, you get a bit of a bleep saying, well, you run out of air. Well, if you keep braking, you'll get low on air. Especially if you've got a damaged truck. Again, we have a quick look on the outside graphics. And just, if you're wondering, when I'm driving, I'm doing about 50 frames a second on that setup I just showed you. Just in case you're wondering what type of weather we have in the game, the same as the ETS, it will rain. Uh, you can set the rain to all day, constantly, uh, 50%, 20%, so anything you feel like, really. It doesn't snow, doesn't have fog, doesn't have a mist or sleet. It doesn't have um, a 12 month calendar cycle. It's a pity, hopefully, they will change it in the future. Can only hope um, but on the net there is a I think it's called the seasons a mod uh, can't remember the author but he's got one called uh, where well, he's got one in the winter so it snows autumn spring and summer um, and you can choose which one you want to play which type of year you want to do it doesn't change automatically it's a pity uh, it would be great if it did, but it doesn't. But they uh, certainly changed the game, especially the, the winter one, because everything's snow everywhere. Uh, it was great. And obviously the autumn one has got all the leaves missing off the trees, which is another fantastic uh, feature. And things like the sun is in a different place, and you've got a lot more shadows and so and so. Um, it's, it's a great difference. I mean, I usually switch them over every now and then just for the hell of it. Just have a different appearance. It does have a day-night cycle. Just wondering. Um, if it gets dark, it does get dark. And it can get quite dark in certain places. So I've got that bleep now, that's a there. And if you get this bleep, if you play UTS or ATS, um, if you're on automatic. Now if you're on simple automatic, you're, you're in trouble. But if you're on automatic, or got manual gears, stick in neutral, stick your throttle down, it'll disappear in 60 seconds. 
Now I've noticed a bug. Um, seems to affect ATS. It doesn't seem to do an ETS. Don't know why. It's supposed to have the same build. But as an automatic, now uh, when you press the stop button, uh, you should stop and it should act. You shouldn't reverse. Uh, in simple mode, stop is also reverse. But in automatic mode, as I've got it in, for some bizarre reason, every now and then you press the stop button and you suddenly start rolling backwards. And you have to slam the old handbrake on, or you're going to smack into a vehicle behind you. And then you get fined, um, where you lose damage, lose money. So as a hint, just remember to do that. Of course, you've got the speed restrictions. Uh, in the United States, they vary. They get up to some roads, I can't remember what state it is, but you can get up to about 70 miles an hour driving your truck. And others, it's down to 55. So you need to watch it. Um, you can break the rules if you want. But if a police car sees you, then you get fined. Uh, you get fined for going through red lights, driving on the wrong side of the road, driving not having lights on it when it's dark. Um, and obviously for speeding there's all sorts of fines you can get and obviously you get fined for not sleeping when you're supposed to sleep and to make it worse if you've missed a parking spot and there's a police car behind you and you've got to drive say 10 miles to the next stop the police car will keep fining you until you actually got to the stop he don't do it constantly but he does it like every three four minutes and it can be a right pain, pain, pain if you ain't got no money. It's right when you've got plenty of money, but if you ain't got none, you're in trouble. There's plenty of stops in the game. Uh, you've got the motel, hotel. You've got the petrol stations. And obviously the truck stops. You can't just pull up on the side of the road. Just like ATS. Uh, it's basically no such thing. I know in America you can't do it anyway. It's against the law. Um... Uh, but yeah, so ideally when you buy your own, your, your own truck and you start doing long runs, like a thousand miles, you need to check your, your map, find out where the, the parking bays are and put your uh, markers down, say when you want to pull over to park, because obviously you run out of fuel and obviously you need to sleep for eight hours. So we've got um, how much XP we want to do. We just do an easy run, not a straight run to the right. Now, as I get uh, do more and more videos, we start reversing. So once you start reversing, look at me. When I first started playing this, I couldn't reverse the same my life, and you just got get used to it, learn how to play, learn how to drive, and then reversing comes quite natural after a while. So right, first delivery, get some XP, get some money. When you get to like level 20, uh, so you end up getting about 25 grand per delivery. So here's our base. Not much to look at. It's a start, and you can upgrade it after three levels, and it gets a nice big building with plenty of space. Just like an office block. Yeah, at this moment, we're just poor. We've got to just settle for the little cabin we've got here. So we pick another job. We go to the job list. So you got quick job is where they give you a truck and trailer and I'll tell you where to go. And the one underneath that is where you got your own truck you pick up a, a trailer and take it to a location and the third one is where you got your truck and trailer and you take it to a location external contracts is where you log on to world of trucks and they log every job you do and you get achievements at the end of it um, for what you do and you can log into world of trucks anytime you want once you made a, an account and you can see what all the jobs you've done and how many achievements you you got and any events you're doing 
Uh, it also comes up in World of Trucks. So this is the truck we've got now. I'm not, I love all these style, style of trucks. Uh, one, you can't see very well out the front because that big engine sticks out. And when you look out the window, the, um, the exhaust, they get away when you're looking out at the back. Now, as I said, there's one thing in on the road, you can't look out the window. Well, I couldn't find out you can look out the window, but you can look, look out the window in this game, no problem. It's great for reversing the old trailer. I've just run out of room, trying to get around the corner. And some of these places are um, very difficult to, to drive. Um, done deliberately, obviously, by the game company. And you can see there, because that snow sticks out, it's hard to see down the, the front. And there we go, we get round in the end. Well, I make my next video of this. If I make a next video, I will do it on the. Um, if you remember the mods I had in the beginning, by the Freightliner, an overcab. I should show you that. Uh, it's a great mod. If it still works, that is. With um, all the updates come out, I think it does. I'll just have to check. If it does, we uh, we'll use it on the next video. And I should turn my mods on uh, for the maps and the graphics. Because uh, I, th I think you only need about five frames with the uh, mods I've got. Yeah, most of the mods I use are basically uh, basically cosmetic, really. Slightly higher textures, and obviously I've got a, a Sky One realistic graphics. I think it's called realistic graphics mod, which changes the way the light works. It's like a reshade, I think. which does a, a great job. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the graphics as they are. Um, but I'll, it's just, for me, I don't know, I've got the power. The computer is powerful enough to um, have a few updates, so I'm quite willing to, to use them. And being only textures, except for the realistic graphic mod, um, but the textures I use for the road and obviously the environment, they usually always work, regardless of what um, game update you want. They usually work, no problem at all. It's only when you decide to put a new truck in the game, or add something what's not in the game usually, that's when it goes a bit nutty. We've got a nice bit of scenery. There's a, let's just get around this bend. Oh, going a bit too quick. Oh, we're going too quick. Oops. Oh, we got crashed sometimes. We can't be helped. And there is, uh, if you're wondering, there is a, uh, the fix that's in it is quite high. Now, when you play on a keyboard, the physics is not that um, set that high. But when you use a steering wheel, the physics are a lot different. And if you've got a very heavy trailer, it does go out of control. And there is some settings on the net that tell you how to change it because um, they just update the physics uh, manually to make it even more realistic. If you're wondering why the physics are not the same on a keyboard to a steering wheel, the reason being because obviously when you're using the keyboard, you're constantly tapping, so it's a jerky steer. And obviously, it makes a lot of difference to the trailer at the back. So that's the reason why it's not been set the same as a steering wheel. Yeah, when we crash back there, you can see there's no damage to the truck. Cosmetic-wise, there's no damage, but it does have damage uh, 
uh, listed. Um, if you keep it crushing, you find your truck starts making funny noises and you done with the work. And then you got to call out the uh, services. So it's wise to actually have your truck repaired every so many thousands of miles. Well, one, because obviously it wears anyway, and obviously your tyres need repairing as they wear out. And it usually costs, I usually do mine every two, three thousand miles, it costs about five grand. You think, oh, that's a lot of money. But in this game, when you've done about two, three thousand miles, you have earned about fifty thousand pounds, so or fifty thousand dollars. So you don't worry about five thousand. Yeah, the garages are all over the place, you just need to check the map. And, um, Usually what I do, the other thing is, when I go to the garage, I see if there's any updates from the truck, like a new engine, or transmission or something, so a new paint job, see if it's worth buying, worth updating, you've got the money. So the latest DRC has come out is um, Oregon, and this year I reckon it will be out September to December time. Um, Washington uh, will come out. It's Washington County, not Washington um, as in the city. And it's basically all the um, East Coast. We can go up, and it's quite good because obviously here we're looking in California, plenty of deserty. And as we go north, uh, slowly turns green, loads of conifer trees, and it makes a lot of difference. Where well, where you play ETS, it's usually all green regardless of where you go. Quite a few mountains in places. But there's no desert oh, until you go through Italy. Um, there's a bit, a bit of dust down there. There's also um, Mexico DRC. Not as in Mexico City. Uh, Mexico State, United States States. Um, DRC came out a while ago. If you look to the right here, we've got like a truck runoff. Now, I think that's quite bizarre. I've never seen one of them in Europe. I know what they're for. Uh, it's like basically. If a truck loses, loses brakes or loses control, we, we just let it run up the hill, out of way. But, um, I just find it's a bit of a bizarre thing to be to, to see. I mean, in Europe, they say learn how to flip and drive, so <laughs> and get your truck fixed, or we'll find you. I mean, you can see the game itself runs nice and smoothly. Um, like I said, I ain't got the fastest computer on the planet. But my graphic card is uh, what, three years old. No, not even that. It'll come up to three years old. But it's not the fastest graphic card in the world. But I don't. I'm not a believer of buying a thousand pound graphic card. I never have been. I mean, the requirements to run this game is quite, quite low spec. Um, I should post it uh, right now. Now I don't know how well it runs on that low spec. I've actually tried it, so I can't actually say. You've got to remember I've got everything turned on and it runs quite well. I mean, the engine 
itself. I think it's an in-house engine. I'm not quite sure uh, if they're using another engine. I don't know. As I said, um, they're constantly updating the game. So it's constantly running quite well. If it starts running slow, they fix it. I'm not, I've never had it in, a, in the years I've played the game where it's been really bad. As they patch the game, bring new features in. Um, they allow you to uh, test the beta or beta. So there's a petrol station. And they vary uh, throughout, throughout the game, different sizes, different colours. Uh, a, lot, a lot of parking lots, and some of them have got waste stations. And in the game, we do have waste stations. Every now and then, the dashboard will flash up and it'll say, please come to the waste station. Or you get fined by the police. That's, a, that's actually a unique feature to ATS. Uh, it's not in ATS. Uh, the other feature they have in this game, which is not in ATS, is where they call diversions. Now we've got, um, well, they close the road in here, and you have to go another route to make it more realistic. I've actually turned it off. It's a good feature, but unfortunately, I find now for instance if you only want to play the game for an hour and you thought okay I'm driving no problem comes up diversion you might have a diversion for like 300 miles and that can make you another 40 minutes on your trip um, it's a good idea but the problem is there's not enough roads in the game so you end up driving a large large circle to get where you want to go so I find it, um, I sort of turn it on when I'm in the mood and turn it off when I'm not in the mood. The other thing is what you got is where you can have, I must have it on low setting, I've uh, been new profile, but usually have it on maximum. Where you see uh, roadworks, damaged vehicles on the, on the side of the road. So you've got to constantly slow down, make sure you don't crash. I mean that's a good feature, I quite like that. You always the other thing you always find is when you get diverted you're always going to be late to the job you've got to go to uh, so you're going to lose money you don't lose a lot of money but you do lose money um, the idea is to put in some realism because obviously it does happen in real life uh, so I've got no problem with it it's just uh, <laughs> if I only want to drive an hour I only want to drive an hour And then you've got obviously, it doesn't, the sat nav doesn't automatically update to say where you want to go, you've got to do that yourself. So, um, that's another thing you, you've got to remember to do. There's plenty of achievements on Steam and throughout the game, finding all the locations. If you're in the United States one, you've got um, scenery spots, like Grand Canyon. You drive to the Grand Canyon scenery spot, you get an achievement for it. And I think there's 25 scenery spots in the game. I'm not fan of them all yet. Yeah, I mean, I've got the two expansion packs, um, transport-wise, where oversized load, loads. Um, I can't remember the other one. They're good fun to drive. Game where you get the doubles. Uh, it's a, quite a different experience. Uh, so when you get the doubles, when you get a park, uh, you've got to make sure you find a truck spot. Because you can't park in a motel. Well, you can. What you can do, you can actually disconnect your trailer, um, dump it on the side of the road, and drive into the truck spot, um, to the motel, sleep, reconnect, then drive off again. You don't get fined for that. 
otherwise you want to find a double and if you've got a double when you come to parking at the end to get the XP you obviously can only drive it in straight you can't reverse it so you can see the way the graphics are different from ETS um, to ATS if it's a lot wider set out just the way it is in America so if I was going to buy one um, out of ATS ETS well ETS is a lot bigger it's got loads more expansion packs and it's got like eight different trucks to pick from and it's got a lot more mods as well but America's got a few different features from ETS they're both the same amount of money that the but the DLC, the DLCs um, are slightly cheaper on the ATS than the ATS. I don't know why, they just are. Uh, if you just notice there, I had that bug where I got to stop and I've gone backwards. So let's pop out the truck. Get some XP. Don't worry, I will do a reverse park in the next one. Okay, there's a couple of more features in this as well as ETS. Uh, you've got radio and a music folder. Uh, one allows you to put your MP3s into a, a folder in the game so you can listen to your music uh, when you're nearly. And the other one is where you can set up the radio stations, uh, just like in real life, and listen to the radio as you're driving. So, about job done, get some XP. I should show the radio station button. Give me a second. See somewhere? Down the bottom somewhere. So there's the, uh, the location. You can just set them out as I said. In the meantime, that's me done. I'll see you in the next video. Blitz out. Have fun all.